Hey everybody, Rick here, Arizona High Desert Homestead. Here's my sidekick, Zoe. Zoe, she's gonna be a mommy. Yeah, she's gonna be a mommy. Oh baby, she's such a sweetheart. Everybody says, oh, those vicious pit bulls. She's not, nothing like that. Just a big lover girl. Okay, so in this edition will be an update and then I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video on a home defense item I purchased few weeks ago at least it is the CZ USA CZ 612 home defense shotgun um, I know a lot of people get a little squeamish about firearms but it's always good to be happy yourself you know be able to protect yourself as long as you're doing it in a responsible way and are a responsible firearm owner so right now I'm gonna get the tractor fired up Glow plugs, there we go. Get that idle for a little bit, it's cold this morning. Uh, 33 with a real, real feel of 27. Chickens are doing good, got their water thawed out pretty soon here. Before the winter's over, of course, I'll have their heating system for their water to keep it from freezing. And it will not be an issue, we won't have to keep fighting with that next year like we've had to this year, this winter. I'm gonna, I got that mini excavator back there. Got those trees planted yesterday. Um, I still have it for two more days. Uh, well, actually three. Then I have to take it back till Wednesday night. I got a little touch up on the leech line there at the front, you know, where the ABS is coming out of the distrib distributor box. Um, I just need to do a little, nice little like 20, if, if even that, you know, 20 inch trench there across the top of them. But I have a, a wash that runs along that backside of my property there on the west. Um, I'm gonna go dig some big holes like I have in other areas along that. And when we get those big monsoons, I'm just gonna take, we have a nice sump pump with the filtration sock. Just put it in there and put it in uh, IBC totes and just keep storing everything we have. And then I wanna, Eventually get something hook onto the tractor um, to help water items, stuff like that. But uh, it's like a win-win situation for me because when I dig those holes, the soil that's been washed down for miles and miles away is just beautiful. So I'm going to use that in a combination with uh, soil amendment and other things like that, you know, organic material. And I'm going to start doing rows raised beds for my blueberries I want to get those planted soon I don't want to be fighting it come spring going oh, I wish I would have done this two three months ago I'm gonna get her done get her done I'm tired my back is sore from yesterday I moved a lot of crap oh sold my Connex. well I listed it in just a local group here on the ranch and I and within an hour I had 15 people and if you're watching Shamika, I'm sorry, I was gonna sell it to you. Wife sold it. Someone got a hold of her on it and boom. They PayPal'd the money, they wanted it quick. So, just doesn't fit in with our theme. Um, I don't mind it, but then when I started thinking about it, I was like, she's right. It's not gonna, even paint it, it's not gonna look that good next to the shop. But anyways, I'm gonna see if I can get my phone back from my son because he's talking to one of my other boys. Video call. I called him, and my son Aaron, and my little grandson Theo. He's so darn cute. He's gonna be a year old here in 11 days. He'll have his first birthday. So, all right, I'm gonna get to work, and later in the video we'll get to that unboxing of the CZ 612 Home Defense shotgun. Okay, I did a bunch of digging back along my back line on the west. Wife went to Sholo, she's getting more pavers. And then my son's gonna bang that out and we can get that hot tub set. Today I've been doing that, and then my son's been doing a whole bunch of caulking here. He did his place a while back, but he's been doing mine and what's gonna be the kitchen. And yes, I did get a permit application for it. We just have to look at it and see what we have to do. It's only 10 by 20 though, but wife wants it all kosher. So, which means more work for me, but oh well. Uh, let's see, 
so yeah now I'm finally going to get to the unboxing of my I don't want to put the serial number on there um, CZ USA uh, 612 home defense 12 gauge shotgun um, yeah I'll have to look at this and make sure I didn't get that serial number in there or I'll have to blur it out or something so and I bought it from Sportsman's Warehouse so let's get to that okay so here we go the unboxing I mean they opened the box when they sold it to me because they had to get uh, make sure the numbers matched up right and then go through the background check and all that this thing is very light it only weighs six pounds has an 18 and a half inch barrel uh, capacity it holds five shells and then one in the chamber so six and there are extensions available this one in particular well let's open it find out huh? don't have my assistant and I just don't feel like being on camera right now so okay I mean I'll be on camera here in a little bit all right here we go man it is super light super light I like that not too light uh, oh I feel like a botard right now okay there we go it has the black synthetic stock the receiver is aluminum the bore is a fixed cylinder the sight is a blade on the front right there come on focus there we go um, the maximum shell length is three inches uh, this these shells I have here are two and three quarter um, with a, does 1,290 feet per second, one ounce, eight shots in each shell. Let's see, it's 38 inches overall. Yeah. It feels really good here. Let's see here. No, I can't do the old. Let's yeah, see, there's the safety right there. Yep. here yeah so I'm gonna load some rounds into this and we'll do some more I get my son to help me film this uh, the reason you know I wanted to try this is it was on sale and I got it for like $2.99 or something like that uh, my son has a Mossberg I believe I think it's a Mossberg 500 the two best ones out on the market I'm not a gun expert let me say that I am NOT a gun expert at all not even close but i'm not ignorant to them and i've been around them all my life so two of the best ones that i know of is the mossberg and the remington 870 you want to say can't remember which is a lot more money than these and i wanted something budget friendly that would still do the job just the sound of the ch -ch, you know can make some people pee a little so um you know the country's going crazy you're getting home invasions where they're just kicking in the door damn that's where they need a load of a couple loads of bird shot i was always taught that bird shot bird shot buck shot buck shot buck shot buck shot you know get the warning warning shot body shot and then it's on if they keep keep trying anything this is for people might be coming after you i don't ever want to have to fire a gun at anybody but i will if i have to so it's i think i feel it's important to know men and women how to safely operate a gun, care for a gun, keep it away from children. That's the problem in this country is you got people that shouldn't even be allowed to breed being able to own, own guns around kids. And look at that kid in Michigan or Wisconsin, no, Wisconsin, I think it was. Those piece of crap parents, all and the school too, they had warning signs all over the place and other people's kids had to die. And that's permanent, man. I just, I couldn't imagine, I can imagine what those parents are going through that lost their kids. 
I would just, no parent should ever, ever have to outlive their child. Just my opinion, so. All right. So yes, they, they offer safety classes, training classes. Um, keep them locked up, but you don't want them locked up too tight. You want them locked up to where the kids can't get them, but where you can get to it in case of emergency. And that's where the gun safes with the, the thumbprint come in very handy. So you can just put your thumb up there, unlock it, grab it. So anyways, all right, I'm going to load this up and we'll do a little test run with it. Okay, I'm going to have my son hold on to the camera. I'm going to stand that board back up. I had it standing there and the slight little breeze blew it over. I'll stick it back up. Test this out quick. Got a little kick. Not too bad though. Wow. I have other items as well that I keep close at hand just in case. Um, uh, shotgun's always good to have too. Uh, I have to go someplace cyber. I can have the wife practice. I want her to be able to defend herself if she has to. So, all right, I think I'll, I'll go look at some other stuff and then we'll wrap this video up. Be right back. So, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna, got another job, excavation job, underground greenhouse. Be doing that tomorrow. Um, while I'm doing that, my son will probably be working on these pavers get them all set up so we can get the hot tub placed in there and then I can start working on electrical putting in the the uh, what do you call the the breaker box have it wired to the hot tub and then what I'm gonna do to start out with is just 240 um, the 4375 generator that we got sitting over there has 240 so we'll just use that until I get the whole power system going here um, she keeps putting not the, just the cart before the horse, but like a whole fleet of carts before any horse. <laughs> uh, I am looking forward to the hot tub though. So let's see. My new power system. Because I decided I want a lot of power. I have that 48 volt system that I'm just going to use just for the kitchen. And I got another 48 volt system coming. It's very budget friendly and powerful. I'm looking forward on doing a review on it. Get on that. I gotta work on cleaning this stuff up. I got to wait until tomorrow to get hold of the county so I can get the okay to haul in gravel. The garden base soil ah, prepped. Let's look at the chickens. We haven't seen them in a while. And the next few days here, I'm going to build this other run, and I'm going to divide them. What's up, girls and boy? Look at you. Look at you. You guys say, you're getting so big. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. Your treats aren't right here. I'd give you some. They are characters. I just love chickens. Um, these are all layers. I'm going to split them up. It's a double, double decker coop so I'm gonna build that big run there on the other side and then I'm also gonna add on to this I want them to have lots of space so, and all I'm gonna do is dig down uh, about a foot in the trench put in some four by fours concrete them in then run the chicken wire or not the chicken wire but the uh, ooh, what do you call that mesh that field wire all around it first then I'm gonna bury it 
almost all the way then put the chicken wire on that field wire comes up four feet so that'll keep out any predator i haven't had any problems since i put that field wire on hey you girls be nice yeah i'm looking forward to getting this done too it's a lot to do it's a lot easier with the tractor though let me tell you so yeah i'm gonna do some excavation work for someone tomorrow underground greenhouse not as deep as mine so i should be able to get it done in a day no problem uh, let's see uh, that's about it um, i'm gonna thank everybody for watching got a lot of projects damn my arm is shoulder's sore been a long time since i fired a, a shot a gun let alone a shotgun i mean i own them but i just don't fire them unless i have to Another thing I should touch on is it's always good to take good care of them, keep them in good working order, keep clean, oiled, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's a cloudy overcast day, so I had to start up the bigger generator to charge all my systems, which I haven't had to do it because of lack of sun, but maybe this is probably just like the third time this winter. This is not bad at all, and I just have to run it for a few hours. I got some good good chargers on it um, charge up those battery banks plus I got the new 48 volt banks coming two of them so that's another 10 kilowatt hours to add to let's see 5 10 15 that'll put me close to 30 kilowatt hours uh, my goal is between 50 and 75 kilowatt hours which is a lot I know some of your other are like damn you know that know about the kilowatt hours but use a lot of power so anyways hopefully the wife will be back soon i don't know he's not i don't know why <laughs> uh, she doesn't watch this videos so who cares uh, oh the sun's starting to poke out i'll be damned and get that connex sold he'll be sitting there for at least a few months if not a little longer the guy that bought it uh owns property up here down over in that direction Reminds me, I'm gonna go check on his property for him. He lives in a uh, California, San Diego area. He's gonna be retiring this year. Spread if you're watching, I'm excited for you. I don't know if he watches my videos or not. Yeah, he's a water guy, and he was telling me he does uh, basically the work I'm doing now, but on a much larger level and all that. He runs crews there in the San Diego area. Uh, I always get price shock at items, but it's been so long. When I got paid to do it, you know, through an employer, I was making 15, 16 bucks an hour. And that was a long time ago. And uh, back then, that was really good money. That was considered damn good money. That was in Idaho, so it was even better. Damn good money. But, uh, yeah, they're in the 40 to $50 an hour range. Like, holy crap. What I should be doing. Yeah, I dug that front trench for the ABS pipe and uh, I have a three-way distributor but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the ABS pipe out and then um, it'll elbow over to the uh, distributor so one and then one pipe will come off the front of it actually I'll have it yeah let me get over there so I can get a little better I'll have it sitting right over there in the corner because it's got one distributor's got one on each side and uh oh man yeah one on each side and then one in the middle and then the intake on the back so i'll have to set it there to where the intake comes into it and then i'll cap off the one on the right and just have like set it right there and then have the one on the front go down that leech line that far leech line and then have one go over here elbow off to the uh corrugated pipe through that leech line and I did a bunch of digging back over there. Oh man, this video's getting long, I apologize. For some more really good soil uh, just west of my uh, underground greenhouse. I hope I can even get that done this year. There's so much going on. But uh, I'm definitely gonna get my blueberries planted and uh, I'll do a video and show you how I'm gonna do it. Because this area hole here is not the best ground. The top cover here is very thin, but I've got a plan and I'm sure it'll work. So 
anyways i better wrap this up i'm just rambling on i want to thank you all for watching if you haven't subscribed please do i'm trying to get to a thousand I like plateaued at like the between 780 and it's weird it just fluctuates between 782 and 784 non-stop but need to get that magic 1000 we'll get there i haven't even been doing this a year yet so i'm not gonna pay for subscribers i see that people do that and that's just nuts you're not gonna get them to watch your stuff if they're just paid subscribers you know anyways all right everyone tomorrow i'm gonna make a special dedication video to my grandmother tomorrow would have been her 98th birthday yeah, that was the most per important person ever in my life ever so i'm going to be doing that in her honor and memory tomorrow so hey thanks for watching hit that thumbs up subscribe i'll be like g bear here subscribe right here thumbs up over here subscribe and notification yeah i don't know if i got that right we'll see and remember there's always money in the banana sand stand Blah. all right everyone take care peace